Thank you so much, TJ. Board of Commissioners, we will call this November 20th, 2020 special call meeting to order. And we have uh, two topics this morning, fire department structure and the fire chief uh, position, which will be discussed in the executive session. All right, uh, Board of Commissioners, um, I'll start off with the fire uh, department structure and I'll just yield to Commissioner Carthen and, uh, and allow her to start a discussion. Commissioner Carthen. Madam Chair, okay. I didn't know if you had taken roll or not, but- um, okay. let, me, let me do that first. Okay. okay. Thank you so much. Uh, board, when I call your name, please acknowledge your presence. Uh, District one, Commissioner Henry Mitchell III. Present. Uh, District two, Commissioner Kelly Robinson. Present. District three, Commissioner Terenia Carthen. <laughs> Present. <laughs> okay. District four, Commissioner. Anne Jones Guider. Present. Ramona Jackson Jones, Chairman, present. So we have all, we are all present and accounted for. Thank you so much. Now I, I yield the floor to you, uh, Commissioner Carthen. Thank you so much, Chairman Jones. Uh, we are here this morning uh, in regards to the fire um, department structure. Uh, we just recently had um, two interview rounds for some awesome candidates. And it was really hard to come up with um, who could possibly be the fire chief of Douglas County. Uh, so we had our first preliminary round, which was myself, Commissioner Guider, uh, Director Fred Perry, Director Mark Till, uh, Director Jason Milholland. And uh, from there came a subcommittee because we had um, three outstanding candidates. And then another candidate was added. Um, so it took four into the second round. Uh, one of the things that we um, wanted to do was to make sure that we got a, another set of unbiased eyes because we, it was just hard to choose. So we went um, and put together another team and that included the Cobb County um, retired fire chief. And from that came the recommendation of the first, second, third, and fourth pick um, out of those rounds. Um, from that, we um, started looking and maybe thought about possibly restructuring the fire department. Um, I think we jumped ahead of the, we put the cart before the horse on our last uh, voting session when we put out a name and stated that that contract would be in front of Chairman Jones. and. Uh, that uh, is what kind of led us back here. We had to table that because that was not the proper process. And so um, let me now apologize to that candidate and let me apologize to Douglas County um, because the process is usually what comes out of committee is usually what is put before the Board of Commissioners to make a decision. So uh, I, again, I apologize and we are here this morning to correct that. So my recommendation is that we, the recommending committee, um, start from the top of that list and offer that particular person the um, the right of first refusal to be fire chief. Um, the restructuring part, I believe Commissioner Robinson, if I'm not mistaken, um, offered a, a great suggestion that we could restructure with a fire chief and two deputy fire chiefs. That way we have some structure in place and uh, it allows for our, um, our best foot to be put forth uh, and making sure that the citizens of Douglas County are well taken care of. Um, I offer up any um, suggestions or help from my colleagues, including Commissioner Guider, who is the chairman of the Fire and EMS Committee. Uh, this has been um, a great challenge. I think uh, we have had some great candidates to come through and I'm sure that the candidate who has emerged number one um, and the second and third and possibly even the fourth candidate could all work within Douglas County and make sure that the safety of our citizens is, is a top priority. Uh, with that, Madam Chair, I yield to hear from my colleagues. Okay, thank you so much, Commissioner Carthen. Uh, 
the chairman of the finding invest committee um, um commissioner guider i see your hand <laughs> yes um uh we did go through a uh a, a, with a large committee uh we had a then we reduced that down to what i call a short list but uh, again i think we're putting the cart before the horse you can we should not be restructuring the fire department the new chief should be at the table to do so and i don't think we should uh, go a uh, jump ahead of uh, the one that's going to be running that department we certainly don't know all the um requirements and everything so we certainly need his expertise if he's going to be over this large department, he needs to have a say so on how it's structured. Also, uh, the I guess you'd, uh, Commissioner Carthen is referring to um, one person as the number one candidate, but um, in our interviews, I assumed anybody that got the job would be moving to Douglas County if they lived. Uh, an hour away or, or, or better. And I doubt um, the person that is picked for fire chief should reside very close to Douglas County uh, or in Douglas County. And, and but the main reason uh, I think we're we're jumping ahead of the uh, the whole game is the fire chief should be <laughs> he should be at the table. The one that's going to be leaving that department has to have input on how it's structured. So uh, I would like to see us step aside as far as the structure is concerned and proceed with the uh, fire chief selection. And that's my recommendation. And I yield back, Madam. Okay, okay thank you so much. Any other comments for the board before I call? Uh, any other comments? Um, Rush. Just, just one comment. Okay, Commissioner Mitchell. I, I agree with uh, Commissioner Guider that the fire chief should uh, be a part of the restructuring of the, this whole makeup. Uh, but we just as a recommendation, I think that's good to, to recommend this restructure uh, because I think we all have our reasoning as to why. So I think that's not a bad idea to make that offer up and put it on the table so whomever gets this particular fire chief needs to be under, it needs to be understood that this restructuring is something that this board is expecting. Uh, we'll look forward to this reorganizational charting of how this command center will operate. So I think it's a good recommendation, but I don't think we should um, do it or put that cart as you stated before the horse, uh, Commissioner Carthen. But my question though is. Commissioner Carson, you, you spoke of one, two, and three, or the or four, and you going in this order. Can you relay the the one, two, and three names of of who they are, or what that is, or so I can understand if we get ready to cast a vote of some sort, like who that is, and I, I'm not sure. I want to be certain as to what if I'm assuming we're not getting ready to vote, but getting ready to at least have a discussion about. I'm assuming. And, and, and let me back. You might. Go ahead. We, we, Commissioner, Commissioner, Commissioner uh, Mitchell. Okay, I got you, Ken. We're in executive session, yeah. so it won't be a vote. That's what I was going to ask. We're in, we're in executive session. Gotcha. So we'll okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I just don't want to mention names publicly and throw toss around names without there being a discussion in the executive session before those names are talked about. Okay. So, so we can talk about the names here, though. Are you saying we got to wait to come out of the executive session? Well, we're not in executive session. We're in an open meeting about policy and structure right now is what I understand. Oh. I don't think. Oh, got you. Got you. OK, OK. I, I, I don't know why I thought that we said something about, you know, executive session here, though. My, my apologies. So I, I'll I'll hold on that on that Q&A then. My apologies. OK, thank you again. I'll uh, I'll yield the floor at this point. OK, any other question? Thank you, uh, Commissioner Mitchell. Any other deliberations? Yes. Chairman Jones, mm -hmm. I just wanted to somewhat uh, answer uh, my colleague's question, Commissioner Mitchell. Uh, the recommended committee um, brought back four uh, names and they were in order 
uh, from the uh, interviews, including the uh, the retired fire chief of Cobb County. So those are the four names uh, in the order in which they felt the best candidates uh, should be considered. And so therefore, what we can do is take those names into executive session, uh, like Attorney Bernard stated, and then we can go down the list from there. But these are as you know, the recommending committee put forward. Got you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank, thank you so much, Commissioner Carthen. And I would be remiss not to chime in to the citizens of Douglas County. You are correct, uh, Commissioner Carthen. We did have three rounds, but I certainly uh, will uh, not allow my, my human resources uh, director to uh, circumvent this moment. The discussion that I had with him, because I interviewed the last four candidates myself, and he indicated, Madam Chair, it would be, you know, final the final decision would kind of wait for you to just bring to the board, certainly bring to the board and, of course, vote up or down. So that's, of course, what, what has happened. So I want the citizens to be aware that the process was not totally circumvented. And I certainly, our human resources director and I had conversations, and I sure hope that he would uh, uh, certainly clarify that to this board uh, uh, and, and make sure that that... Uh, that's what had uh, that was the process, and that's how it taken place. But certainly, um, if we don't have any other discussion, certainly I can uh, call for executive session, and we can go forward. Um, Board of Commissioners, uh, first of all, uh, Attorney Bernard, do we need to go into executive session? Attorney Bernard. I'm here, Madam Chair. Uh, I, my suggestion is make sure there's no more discussion about policy and structure. And then I, if you I, 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 do. Session, I understand. Okay. Let me check again. I understand you need it for personnel. Okay. Then, okay. Let me check with my commissioners again. Do we need to go into? I mean, do you have any other discussion for the commissioners? Uh, Chairman Jones. I do. Yes, Commissioner Carthen. Uh, I will uh, yield to my colleagues, Commissioner Guider and Commissioner Mitchell, uh, in stating that we should wait for the fire chief, whoever he or she is, to come aboard and then talk about restructuring. I just would like for uh, this board to consider the possibility that this uh, fire department does need to be restructured. We do have a lot of, um, it's a big department. And so just having one person, um, I think, is, is a bit much. If we can, let's uh, continue to maybe hash that out in the fire and EMS um, committee, along with the new fire chief, and then bring it before this board. Uh, I hope that is uh, the consensus of this board. But with that, Madam Chair, I yield. OK, thank you so much, Commissioner Carthen. All right, if there's no other discussion, certainly is there any other discussion before I call for executive session? Attorney Bernard, do we have them? Do we need to go into executive session? Yes, ma'am. I understand you need it for personnel. That's all I'm aware of. Okay, thank you so much, uh, Attorney Bernard. Board of Commissioners, do we have a motion to go into executive session? So moved. Second. A motion and a second. Any discussion? We have a motion and a second. When I call your name, please indicate accordingly. Uh, district one or your district, I'm sorry. District one? Yes. District two? Yes. District three? Yes. District four? Yes. Chairman, yes. We have a 5 0 unanimous vote, and the motion will carry. And the motion carries. Thank you so much. Um, Lisa, I know you're on the phone. If you could just instruct us accordingly. Uh, yes, ma'am. Um, anyone um, <coughs> who's in the meeting that is not involved in executive session should go ahead and hang up. <coughs> and TJ, I guess you can take us offline. And then we'll... All right, thank you so board, uh, board of commissioners for the executive session um, regarding our fire chief. At this time, no action will be taken. And uh, uh, certainly I wanted to just remind our citizens, please to uh, be aware uh, of the holiday that's coming up. Please um, be respectful and remindful that we still have the pandemic in play. Uh, ask that you wash your hands repeatedly uh, throughout the day, watch your social distancing and wear a mask. 
Board of Commissioners, there, there's nothing else to come before this board. Uh, thank you so much. And to the citizens of Douglas County, happy Thanksgiving. Thank you.